All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back playing WWE 2K23, My Rise, The Lock. Bro, every time I say that title, I feel exhausted. It's such a long title, bro. But yeah, last time out, we lost our title. We lost our title. So now we're just going to see where we go from here. Because I really don't know. Look, real quick. I'm doing a goal, right? I'm uploading one video every day this month. That's my goal. You're not going to want to miss these episodes that are coming out. I'm playing all types of games. So make sure you subscribe. Do me that favor. I'm trying to reach a thousand subs. I would appreciate it a ton, man. Thank you in advance. And let's play. We need to talk. This wasn't the plan. I'm sure it's not too late to pass things up with Randy and Gabriel. It's over. I tried to do what you wanted and it didn't work. We'll talk soon for sure. Tension. Tension. So, since we last caught up, you got into a fight with New Day over a video game cover, lost your Intercontinental Championship, Why is she doing this? and then quit Evolution. String of bad luck or all part of the plan? Bro, it's all part of the plan. It's all part of the plan. You never, you never, you never, you never, you never, what am I trying to say? <laughs> you never put bad luck on yourself. Don't do that. All part of the plan. All part of the plan. You might be hearing Orton and Gabriel's spin about how I was the weak link, but really, they were the dead weight. Facts. Which is why I got rid of them. Exactly. I realized I didn't need to be a part of some retread faction to get ahead. I'm bigger than that. I can win the WWE Championship on my own. Let's go. And that's what I plan on doing. Let's go. Well, I certainly believe in you, but what's next? What I know that? I'll become WWE Champion, but something has been off since I debuted. And it's been holding me back way more than Evolution ever did. So what's next? I'm going to confront this issue head on in front of the entire WWE Universe. What? What? Former Intercontinental Champion, The Lock, has requested this time to address the WWE Universe. Now he certainly has a lot to address. Let's be real. I haven't had the best run lately. Talk to him. Most notably, I lost a couple things. My Intercontinental Championship, and then my faction. But this wasn't how things were supposed to go, right? Correct. You all heard and saw the endless hype. I was brought in to WWE as the next big thing, a future world champion. And of course, the lock. It worked for a while. But let's be honest, it felt forced from day one. He's not lying. He's not lying. I was truly comfortable with what I was asked to do. And when it comes down to it, these recent setbacks were just a result of those early decisions that were out of my hands and way above my pay grade. Facts, give me a raise. Give me a raise. Is, I was set up to fail by WWE management and especially VP of Talent Development, Shawn Michaels. Let me shoot with you. Shawn was behind <laughs> all of this from the start, forcing one bad decision after another. So, HBK, I want you to come out here right now so we can talk man to man, face to face. Oh my God. Strong words from the lock. Yeah, you better be careful here. Ain't no be careful. Ain't no be and careful. Shawn Michaels apparently has chosen to come out for Yeah, Spider get your old ass it's up a here, bro. Situation that might be better handled off camera, behind closed doors, not in front of the entire WWE universe. He doesn't look too happy to be put on the spot like this. I heard everything you said, and I'm willing to talk. But you know, this isn't the time or the place. This is exactly the time and place. Yeah. I want everyone to hear how you've mishandled my career since the day I got here. Stop. Now. No. I've played by your rules. But Ooh. I'm not going to trust the process any longer. You never want to trust the process. From now on, I do what I want to do. That's what got me here in the first place. My voice. My instinct. My talent. 
Talk to you him. You and your Talk to him. Yes, men have tried to stifle that every chance you got. They don't want to see me win, bro. Okay. You really want to do this? We've heard your side of things. Here's mine. He's going to diss AKA me. AKA the truth. He's going to diss me, bro. I feel it. All you've done is complain since day one, thinking you know everything. Like when you chose to drop your special lock entrance after one match, and then you dropped your custom attire right afterwards. It you wasn't it. How much time and money was invested in all of that? That wasn't the move. You never gave any of it a fair shot. But there's no change in your mind because you're too stubborn to listen to people who actually know the ins and the outs of this business. The same people who tried to set you up for success, who wanted nothing but the best for you. Hold on. Don't buy it. Don't buy best it. for me? Give me one example of something you did to help me. Come on. Name one thing. Okay. Let's get it all out there. When things weren't going as expected, I went to Randy Orton and MVP and convinced them to start factions to try to get you back on track. Okay, now I feel bad. Now I feel bad. Now I feel That's bad. That's how much we believed in you. That we were willing to stick our necks out for you. But I guess that's all stifling and setting you up for failure, right? You said they wanted me. So he lied to us. Yeah, because I knew feeding your ego would be the only way to get you to agree to do it. But even that didn't work. Because you couldn't learn to cooperate and quit. Throwing away an opportunity that everyone in the Bro. back would kill for. Bro, I don't need anyone. That's why I have one final thing to say to you. Don't you ever confuse potential with success. Because you might have all the potential in the world, but it doesn't mean anything if you can't get out of your own way. Stop complaining and blaming everyone else and do something for once. What, 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 why he's talking like he's my dad, though? You want me to do something? Yeah, do something. You want? Let's Where's do something. Here? I'm talking to you. Get him, get him. Show me some respect. Yeah, 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 you're you gonna learn today to stop playing with me. You're gonna learn today to stop playing with me. Unexpected turn. I think he was just trying to get Sean's attention and it backfired. Officials, including Michael's good friend Triple H, have arrived to check on. No, 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 just leave and let things go down. Did Sean Michaels just say he's ain't no way. I think I heard that too. Wow, I can't believe that just happened. Ain't no way, bro. This has gotten way out of hand. We just hope Sean's okay. WWE does not condone physical attacks, accidental or not, against its employees. Therefore, Draven has been released from his contract immediately. WWE official Shawn Michaels has shuffered. Shuffered. Has <laughs> suffered several injuries, but is expected to make a full recovery. Stop being soft. He took a little bump. He took a little bump. Who's this? Yeah, hey, I tried calling you, but you didn't pick up. I'm here to talk. I, I know you're at a low point right now, but you don't have to go through this alone. Anyway, call me back. I'm concerned. Three months later, WWE 2K motion capture shoot. Wait, what in the world is this? Is that my old buddy, The Lock, doing mocap for WWE 2K? <laughs> it wasn't that long ago when you thought you should be on the cover of the game, and now you're here pretending to be a WWE superstar? Talk about oh, a fall from grace. This is amazing. What the hell are you doing here? Maybe you can't afford to watch premium live events anymore, but I just won this Money in the Bank briefcase. So I requested that my briefcase motions be captured accurately by me. 
and not left to the interpretation of uncoordinated losers like yourself. The same uncoordinated loser who beat you repeatedly? Hmm. Funny. Oh, and look, I even have WWE here to document the whole thing. Remember when you used to have a camera following you around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the irony is off the charts. Hey, hope you're doing okay. I always believed in you. That's enough. You're here to film. Hopefully, me. this music in the Not background isn't the extras. a problem. Okay, you you can leave now. <laughs> I need to shoot my part so I can fly to the next show. You know, the life of a busy, successful WWE superstar. All non-essential talent, please clear the ring. Damn. Thank you. All right, let's settle into a T-pose. Vocap ready. Position. Action on your briefcase victory scene. Wow. Great. Wow. Now up to the corner, please. Okay. Okay. You think you're better than me? Yeah. Uh, answer me. Cut. Cut. That's enough. Oh my God. Come on. Let's do this. Let's go. I should have sued you before, but now I am definitely going to. Let me go. This was assault, and it's all on camera. Get off of me. You haven't seen the last. Why is this music playing? <laughs> Actually, I think we have. You're fired again. Bye. Sorry, Sammy. Let's take a break, and we'll continue when you're ready. No, no break. Let's just do this. Make sure you cut all that out, okay? Uh, okay. Damn. So I really don't have a job. Should we wake him up? Yeah, I think he's got enough beauty rest. Beauty rest? Oh, Damn! What the morning, sunshine! <sighs> What's going on here? Since you never returned any of my messages or calls, I had to come see you in person. In person? You flew all the way over from the UK? I couldn't just sit back and watch you throw your life away. And since you're impossible to reach, I got in touch with this lovely lady. Am I allowed to say that? I'll allow it. <laughs> anyway, she's been following you around for the past six months. I knew what was really going on with you more than anyone. And we agreed you weren't in a good place and needed help. This really isn't necessary. I'm fine. Seriously. I've just hit a bit of a rough patch. That's all. A rough We're patch all right. We're is fine. when you lose your keys, causing you to miss a blind date, and your cat gets sick. Of course, you find out the reason your cat's sick is because they swallowed your keys, but that's a personal experience, so we're getting off track. Point is, you've thrown away everything you worked so hard for. I haven't thrown away and nothing. Yesterday, you got fired from the mocap gig. Yeah, and I had my flight booked way before that. You've been a mess for a while. I didn't throw everything away. It was complicated. <sighs> but if it gets you two to stop, I'll admit, I've had better days. More like better months. So you got knocked down at Pega 5. All that matters now is how you respond. And when you're done feeling sorry for yourself, there's a whole world of wrestling out there for you to build yourself back up, be everything I know you can be, and show WWE what they're missing. <sighs> you're right. I've let things spiral out of control. Hmm. I'm ready to get back on track. Great. And I'll be right there with you. Every step of the way. Really? So what are we doing? Got nothing better to do. Okay. I'm confused, though. Why are you exactly, here, Kat? I told you I believed in you. And besides, I can't just start a project and leave it half finished, especially when it's going to have an awesome comeback story. And hey, even if you crash and burn, that'll Come be on. great too for no. me Come on. and the doc. Not necessarily. Come on, you. we all know what all she right. wants. We're at an airport. We all know what she wants. First. The loo. <laughs> this coffee ran straight through me. What? What are we doing? I'm lost. All right. We are at the airport. I got mad upgrade points. Let me use them real quick. 
All right, let's see what we're actually doing here. On my flight over here, I was thinking about how we met. You couldn't stand me. Said I should quit wrestling and go back to where I came from. Well, that wasn't very helpful, was it? I was actually thinking of what happened after that. You wrestled on some shows I was promoting, and you were impressive as hell. However, there was one thing you always churned down. What? The bartender at the pub? You were constantly trying to set me up with her, but she was like 75. It ain't nothing but a thing. No, no, not that. I mean, I always refused to do a British rules match. British rules. And by the way, Amelia passed away last year. God rest her soul. <sighs> Those matches are super restrictive. Way too many rules for my style. I like to do my own thing. And how's that working out for you? Uh. As a lesson to be learnt from working within a structure. Okay, Shawn Michaels. Look, I see what you're getting at, but I don't think you can relate to what happened to me in WWE. Really? When I was in WCW, they asked me to wear a stupid robe and wig and be the stereotypical blue blood British guy, and I refused. You know who they asked next? Triple H. He turned out okay, mm. didn't he? Sometimes you have to learn how to play within the system and trust the process, right? Oh, no, I don't want to trust Not the process. What I, was going to say, I don't want sure. to trust the process. What I learned is you can wear the wig for a bit and then you can always take it off. But at least it gave you the first shot. So, what you say, we head over to the UK and you finally compete in a British rules match. British Prove rules. To me what does that even mean? You're ready. To wear a wig. Do it. Give okay, me the wig. Fine, give me the wig. Give it a shot. <laughs> at least I won't have to deal with any more awkward situations at the pub. Great. And by the way, Amelia's younger sister is the bartender now. I think you love her. Doesn't look a day over 72. Let's go get our flights before tap you that. say anything else that changes my mind. Oh, I tap that. In it. Oh my god. We're in Leeds. Leeds United. Bro, what? How you feeling? Did you knock off that pesky jet lag? Sure did, yeah, Stu. And I know British rules matches can be grueling, but I'm ready to give one a shot. What is British rules? I hope you're ready to give more than one shot. What do you mean? Three shots. Three shots, Stu. This is actually a British rules tournament, as in you'll be competing in multiple British rules matches. Okay. I agreed to do one, not an entire tournament. Oh, it's all right. I know you wouldn't have come over here if you found out you had to do more than one, but here's the thing. If you don't get your act together, you'll lose in the first round. I'm not you losing. You won't have to worry about any subsequent I'm not, matches. I'm not losing. I'm already regretting this. Oi, suck it up. Oi. You're gonna be fine. And besides, the crowd is already here. So there's no backing out now. But I do it still. Let's do it. Okay, Tavish isn't around. What'd you think of what he did to get you over here? Not surprised at all. Tavish means well, but he'll lie his butt off if he thinks a situation calls for it. Does the fact that this is a tournament change your approach? No, I'm here to win. I'm here to win. Now I'm that here I'm to here, win. I'm not going to take the easy way out. If I have to compete in three of these British rules matches to win the tournament, then that's what I'm going to do. Exactly. It could really help kickstart my comeback. This is awkward, but I wanted to seem cool. I honestly have Me no neither. idea what a British rules style match is. It's been around forever here in the UK. The matches are two out of three falls, and there's no leaving the ring or top rope moves allowed. Got all that? Uh, yeah. D uh, definitely. Bottom line, it's going to be very tough to win this tournament. Two out of three? Especially since it's all taking place in one night. Nonetheless, I'm just happy to be out of the WWE bubble, and no matter how it goes, I look forward to getting out there and being myself. Two out of three? Hey, you, man. Who's this? Who's this? All right, no top rope. Best two out of three. Yeah, you already know what we do. 
You already know what we do. Two out of three is crazy, bro. Oh my God. I can't, I can't use the ropes. I, I mean, the top ropes. So this is going to be interesting. We're whooping this guy as of right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Again? <laughs> Bro, I feel like I always do the same moves. Yeah. Is there like uh Oh, he's strong. He's strong. That boy's strong. That boy's strong. No. No. Damn. Brother, is that you? Is that you? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, we're whooping this guy, bro. Yeah, just, just. Uh oh, uh oh. What is going on here? Oh, it's over for him. I, I gotta pin him. Two out of three, though. One. Oh, this is light work. Why did it ring the bell? If it's not over. Can I just pin him again? Will that work? If this works. Oh, I was about to say. Get him up out of here. Yeah. Snap his back. They make him bleed. Yeah. A little bit of blood. Oh, damn it. He got me there. What was that? Yo. Why why am I seeing red? Oh my god. Oh, we kicked out. Where is a fly in my room? You can't use the top ropes. I was about to say, where are you going? What? Oh, no. Bro, chill. I don't want to use instant recovery. Get up, get up, get up. Oh my god. I got it, I got it. You don't messed up now. Bro. Bro, there's a damn fly in here, bro. In no way. Okay, we got it, we got it, we got it. 
He's not gonna get me. Bro, why are you out here celebrating, bro? You ain't pinned me not once yet. What's going on here? You thought. You thought, bro. Yeah, that's not going to feel good. Finish him. Game over. Game over. Game over. Got to do it. How to do it? That was bro. He was a little bit tough. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> but we got it done. All right, man. We're trying to make our way back. We got fired, bro. We really got fired. Unbelievable. All right, man. That is where we're gonna leave this one. Uh, next time we play, we will be continuing on with the tournament. Just dominating everyone in that tournament and trying to find our way back to the WWE because we got fired. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Till next time, we out.